Hey friends, it's Tracy. Today's video is all about turning a cute gift box into some home decor. Now I did this last year with a snowman box and turned that into this cute uh, decor piece and so many friends loved it. So I uh, Y'all wanted more. So I decided to take this gift box that I had a red truck on with the gifts and turn it into a cute home decor piece for the Christmas season. All right, let's go ahead and get started and let me share how I created this red truck Christmas decor piece. What I started with is this red truck gift box from the Dollar Tree, as well as one of the signs uh, that I had left over from Halloween. And uh, that is what's going to be the uh, base of my, of my sign. And uh, so after I took off the hanger, um, I was going to use some plaster, which is more ivory paint, but I, I changed my mind and decided to use some white paint. And this is actually chalk paint. It's actually what I had on hand and grab that. I'm also going to be using some crackle medium. And so what I did is I gave it a base coat of the white paint. And then once that was dry, I gave this a thick, coat of the crackle medium. Now right here I'm brushing it on but uh, in a second I'm just going to pour it on because I, I had like a brain uh, lapse in thinking. I was like girl put it just just pour it on because I like thick uh, on there because I wanted to make uh, some crackles. And uh, I do have a separate video of how to crackle paint. I will link to that for those who are interested. I let my crackle paint completely dry and then I'm going to put on uh, another coat of white paint. Um, I know it kind of is not going to show up too good on camera, but it give, gave me the cracks that I wanted to make it look like the snow uh, for the back of my truck. And uh, so then once that, uh, then you, you can, the camera kind of picks it up a little bit, but um I don't know. I just really like this crack uh, look and it just really gives me what I'm looking for for my projects. Now for the top of uh, this, I'm using this color agave, which is a chalk paint as well. Um, it was the color that I just decided to use. Now I'll be honest with you, this was just a tad thick, so I should have watered it down a bit since it is a water-based chalk paint and um, I could have got some better cracks, but I just kind of went with it. And so uh, it was, I put it on really thick and so I didn't really mean to do that, but I just kind of went with it. And once it was all dry, I, and, and I had my other, uh, and Bella, you know, my other painting on there, it, it was really okay. So then now I'm just taking a, a stencil brush and just kind of stippling on some paint where the agave and the white paint met. That kind of, you know, just gives me that snowy look. I'm also taking that uh, stencil brush and just pouncing on some different, uh, kind of looks like snowflakes or just, you know, some decoration for the background of my board. Uh, the next thing I think I do is I will take the end of that brush and just put some white dots. I'm kind of mimicking um, what the background of the box was and I'm uh, going to put some snowflakes on there just using my uh, number two liner brush and you know just going to make this really cute. <laughs> I use my number two liner brush just to make some snowflakes on the background. And then uh, once that is uh, dry, I'm going to take some stickles, which is like a glitter glue. It's uh, kind of used a lot in paper crafting and I have so much of this stuff that left that I'm just really trying to use up. You can find it in the uh, scrapbooking section of the craft store. Anyway. Um, I wanted to give it a bit of glitter, so I'm just putting some of this um, 
I think it's called Stardust is in. Uh, so I'm just going over the snowflakes and putting in some, uh, you know, just some color into each of the like dots just to give it some, uh, you know, iridescent color and just some glitter, glistening snow. That's what I'm kind of going for. This stickle takes a little bit to dry, uh, so I put that to the side. And then now I'm going to work on my gift box. Uh, just take off the, uh, you know, the edges of it, uh, like, you know, for the gift box. Just cut those off so that I can uh, tear and work with it a bit better. Okay, so um, first of all, I want to tear. I'm actually tearing toward my body and uh, I'm tearing off this part of uh, the section of the box that says Merry Christmas because I'm going to use that but I'm going to use it in a different fashion. So I'm carefully trying to tear it away so that it doesn't uh, tear into the portion that I want for the truck and then it doesn't tear any of my letters. Okay so I like the ragged uh, or torn edge uh, where it has a bit of the box showing. So I'm carefully trying to go around the letters as, as close as I can get and then just tear it around. I'm tearing the box or the portion of this section, you know, toward my body so that I get the ragged uh, torn edge that I like. just carefully tearing it around uh, the section of what I want to do uh, for the truck. Now, since I did my own background, I'm not going to, those trees are beautiful, but I wanted, uh, I had kind of a different vision in mind. So I'm just going around the truck and uh, just tearing it around and I don't want that bow. So um, I'm just kind of tearing. I know it's kind of sad but I just I didn't want that bow anyway so I'm just tearing around the uh, edge of the truck again tearing it toward my body so that it gives me the torn ragged edge that I like sometimes I, I'm right-handed so I tear with my right hand and my left hand I kind of help guide it uh, so that it kind of tears where I want it to and uh, just sharing that because I, when I did the snowman sign, I got a lot of questions uh, on how to tear the box. So I thought I would just mention that. All right, for the letters, I'm just using my liner brush just to give it some white paint highlight. I just use some acrylic paint for that. I also did like a, a snowflake in the uh, where the dot of the eye was, then went back and used my uh, stickles that Stardust Stickles just to give it some more, um, you know, iridescent highlight. Okay, so then I'm like, oh, yes, I have to put some white doodles around. So I'm just using that same liner brush and just going around and uh, where I want, just giving some doodles around the edges. I like the border and I just really feel it's part of what makes me uh, what I like and kind of makes my projects pop. So uh, to add some dimension, I'm just using some Jingle blocks or tumbling tower blocks that I get from the Dollar Tree and just adding it to the back of the truck just to, like I said, make some dimension. I'm just using some hot glue just to attach everything. And I wanted to put my truck on first before I put my Merry Christmas on because I wanted to make sure that I get the placement correct. And just doing the same thing uh, with the Jingle blocks, just putting a couple of those on the back of the uh, words so that I can put it on the Merry Christmas and then I'll glue all of that down. I should have done this before I put my truck uh, glued it all down, but I completely forgot. I'm just taking my fine Sharpie marker and just going around and 
uh, giving it a black outline. This is something I like to do for my projects. I think that it just really makes the project pop and just brings it to life. And uh, so like I said, I should have done this before I glued it down. It really was okay. It just was a little awkward for me for my hand because I couldn't, um, you know, like press down on it kind of thing anyway but it all turned out great and uh, just adding you know just some black sharpie marker it just makes the project pop and it just really brings it to life then I'll go back and add some white just acrylic paint to the uh, tires just to give them some treads and bring that part of the project to life as well. Then once that is uh, dry, then what I'll do is I'll go back with the stickles and what I want to do is I want to bring out the uh, headlights and also I want to, uh, you know, just randomly give some stickles, uh, which is that glitter glue just to bring out just some, uh, iridescent or some sparkle to this whole Christmas uh, decor piece. I'll do the same thing with the letters. I just went around and just gave it just some stickles just to make them, um, you know, the letters pop. And so that when you kind of see the letters, they kind of glimmer just a bit. Now, um, for a hanger, what I decided to use is the sisal twine that I got from Hobby Lobby. And uh, what I did is um, I knotted it about three or four times, probably four, uh, just so because of this particular sign had those holes in it. And so I wanted a thicker knot so that it wouldn't, you know, pull through through that. And uh, then once I get the twine on there, then what I did is I just took some uh, homespun fabric. I had these strips, you know, already finished or already done. Uh, meaning I just, I like to rip my strips of fabric off of my homespun uh, off of the bigger piece. And uh, I like the jagged edge or the ripped edge. And so I just gave it a, just a small bow on each of the um, you know, edges, it kind of masks the, like where the twine kind of goes through and it just gives a decorative touch. Mm -hmm. 